Hi, I'm Parisian Farm Girl and welcome to my channel. Last year I filmed a day in the life video and you loved it and asked for more. So this year for 2020, I will be filming one day in the life video for every month of the year. Now, if you're not following on Instagram, you should do that because that's where I hang out every day. If you think there's any chance you're going to enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up right now because YouTube loves that and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, when I film these day in the life videos, it is my hope that they inspire you to take pride in your homemaking. Even if you're working in an office all day and you come home to take care of your family, it matters. Take pride in it. I'm a work at home, stay at home, homeschool mama of six, and this is one day in my January. So just like so many people, I hit the ground running January 2nd, pun intended. I typically dial back my workouts in the summer because I'm working so hard in the garden, hauling manure and shoveling and digging and hauling wheelbarrows full of gravel. But this year I had a few health issues and I ended up not going back to the gym. So I slid right into the holiday season and enjoyed all that champagne and all those treats and of course I'm paying for it. So I'm up at 5 and I'm off to the gym by 5.20. It's a beautiful, quiet drive. This morning I ended up following a snow plow all the way. And I basically have the gym to myself, which I love the solitude and the quiet. And a lot of people ask me about my workouts and they're not really that major. I walk uphill as steep as I can on the treadmill for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then I lift weights and I am terribly out of shape and hoping that those 10 pounders turn into 20 and 25 pounders very soon. When I got home this morning, Joel invited me out for coffee. So we got to see the lake in all its beauty. And when you get invited out for coffee before a day of homeschooling, you do not say no. So we went into Fish Creek and we each got a latte and we brought Anais with us and she got a hot chocolate in her red patent leather high heels that she got for Christmas. She was ecstatic and it was a wonderful way for me to start a homeschool day, getting to nurse that coffee all morning long. I had gotten home from the gym and I wasn't completely ready for the day. I kind of rushed out of the gym, so I typically don't make my bed in the dark. I make it when I get home and I firmly believe in making my bed every morning. There's just something about it. It's a little pat on the back. When I walk into my bedroom in the middle of the day and it's sort of one less thing to sigh about one less thing to feel behind on just seeing that made bed brings me an element of sanity so I do I make my bed every single morning we are at the end of our grocery run so I typically go grocery shopping once a month and Right now I've got some flour, some butter, and a little milk. So 
We're having einkorn pancakes this morning, which the kids aren't. They're not too sad about that. They're they're pretty jazzed. They love the einkorn pancakes. I love them because they're higher in protein, so it keeps the children a bit more satiated than a, a conventional flour does and kind of gets us through the homeschool morning without them complaining that they are hungry 45 minutes later. It is demanding to be a stay-at-home, work-at-home, homeschool mama, and I do try to take really good care of myself, and I do take a hefty handful of supplements in the morning, but I feel like they're my secret weapon, and uh, the kids take supplements, we all take them, and it really keeps us healthy, we don't get the colds and flus all season long, and it helps me burn through the dishes <laughs> and keep up with my day. After I'm done with the dishes, I typically head upstairs and finish my routine. So if I didn't finish getting ready at the gym, then I'll, you know, I'll quickly curl my hair and put my blush on and my lipstick and get dressed for the day. Just a few minutes. I mean, this morning I literally spent 6 minutes uh, getting ready. So I think it's really important to carve out enough time for yourself. I mean, seriously, if you can't find six minutes in the morning to curl your hair and put on some blush, um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's time to reprioritize a little bit. I know wearing makeup every day isn't for everyone, but it's for me, and this is the way. I like to present myself during the day and it's cold so I grabbed a sweater and yes I do hang my thin sweaters I don't fold my thin sweaters um, so I'm always layering up I've got a tank top underneath the sweater to stay warm it's Wisconsin and of course an apron to get me through the day a place to wipe off my hands and pockets to put the junk that I find on the floor in. And then it's off to sort of herd the kids along. So they've had breakfast and now it's time for them to make their beds and pick up their laundry off the floor, get their teeth brushed. You know, I encourage them to get ready for the day just like I do. It would be really, really easy for all of us to just stay in yoga pants and pajamas all day long. But I think that just like I need to present myself for the day and I need that sanity of an orderly bedroom, I believe those are really good habits for the kids as well. So they make their beds and they get dressed and, and then we come downstairs and we get going. But it's these special moments in the mornings just together. I love it. We have parts of our house, quite a bit of our house is in flux right now. The children's bedrooms are in flux. There's mattresses on the floor. We have uh, a laundry room going in upstairs, which, oh my goodness, is going to be so decadent. And so for now, the laundry room downstairs, you know, the walls are torn out and there's insulation like you see. And it's nice to find moments of reprieve in some of the rooms that are somewhat finished, like the fireplace room. And so this morning, this is where we gathered to read the Bible and to study history and to stay warm by the fire. These 
are the moments that I cherish. This is my favorite part about homeschooling. When we come together and we are sharing ideas and committing things to memory together and I think making really, really beautiful memories during the education process. Now, like I said, I am at the end of my grocery run. I mean, I think there's some freezer burned broccoli in the basement and some rainbow trout. So I found uh, a frozen pizza in the freezer in the basement. And so what I like to do if I have like some emergency food like that, whether it's store-bought pasta or a leftover frozen pizza from Aiden and his buddies is I'll just dress it up a little bit. And so today we got out the pine nuts and the artichoke hearts and just added a little pizzazz to a simple, cheapy frozen pizza that was left over from the teenage boys. I almost always have a stovetop with uh, chicken stock or beef stock going, bone broth, if you will. And I love to have that on hand. The children love it, and it's so, so good for them. So today we, we backed up our pizza with some mugs of delicious stock, and everyone was happy. Everyone was had their bellies full with nice warm food, and we were able to go back to schooling for the afternoon, and I will be grocery shopping in just a couple days and stocking the cupboards again. Remember, don't stop. Just say it through. Eat. Eat. No, it can't be eat because there's no to. Do it again. Or maybe say it faster. Do it slow and then say it fast like those other ones. Eat. Mm. You start to say to. There's no of that. Okay, right. right. So the school day is done. Uh, we've had our time in the schoolroom. We've had our time in the living room. You know, kids are here, there, and everywhere doing their uh, individual studies on computers or on the couch with their books. And it's about 2.30, 2.45. And for me, this is when I start to feel the pinch. 
This is what I call crunch time. Uh, some people call it um, the beginning of the witching hour, which usually hits around four, but this is when I really start to feel the weight of everything that I have to get done. So it's 2.30, I haven't touched my job today with doTERRA. Um, I've had sort of an easy out with lunchtime. I'm at the end of my groceries. I have no idea what I'm going to make for dinner, which is not very typical, but kind of how it plays out at the end of the month. And I had gathered all the rugs to shake them out because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't 15 degrees below. So I knew I could go out and shake out some of the dust. This is one of the reasons I don't have carpeting because rugs just get so dirty. These were just vacuumed the other day. So I do try to take them out every couple weeks and you know, in addition to vacuuming them, just give them a good shake. And I do like to find an excuse uh, a couple times a day, whether it's helping Aiden with the chores or just going out for, you know, some kindling. Uh, I like to find an excuse to get outside. Sometimes I'll just go walk down the road. Sometimes, sometimes I'll walk through the forest for a while. But no matter how cold it is, I do like to find an excuse to get outside. And today, shaking the rugs out was, was my excuse. This is also the time of the day where I do like to tidy up the house before dinner. Um, my mom called it doing the tornado. My friend Shay calls it blessing the house. But it's just that once over that you do right at the witching hour, right before you're about to make dinner. I like to do it because then I can be in my kitchen making dinner and I can know there's a bit of sanity dispersed throughout the house and I'm not going to turn around from a sink full of dirty dishes at the end of the day and walk into a war zone. So I like to fluff the pillows and straighten everything out, put some toys away. I know they might get drug out again and that's okay. It's really for me uh, more than anything else and so today I put the rugs back and put the toys away and picked up little wrappers and toys and paper and books and just restored just a little bit of order before dinner time. So with that stock on the stovetop, I had a big bag of bulk lentils. I always buy uh, legumes and, you know, beans and rice and things to keep in the cooler in bulk for emergencies like the last two days before the grocery run so I got the lentils out and I had some really nice organic uh, local Polish sausage and some flowers left over from from uh, doTERRA from when I hit blue diamond last month they sent me a bouquet which was really nice and so some onions from the basement and we made just a really simple lentil soup. I don't even have a recipe. I just used some chicken stock and uh, some onions from our garden this summer and the sausage. I'm very blessed. My family loves things like 16 bean soup, split pea soup, lentils. So if mama needs a bailout, um, it's wonderful because there's, there's no complaints. So we ate pretty good tonight. We had a loaf of bread and some delicious Kerrygold butter. You know, you really can't complain about organic Polish sausage, can you? It was it was yummy. It's cold outside and it was a hearty a hearty meal. I call it peasant food. Peasant food is the best food and it's great to come together at the end of the day. Joel grabbed a bottle of wine and it was a big day. We got a lot done. We learned a lot and our days are always so full. You have eight people in one house. You know, we are a full-time family and 
I know that that expression is typically used um, for the people that take their their life on the road, but we're a full-time family in this house. There's eight of us here. We work from home. We school from home. We are home. Dinner time around the table is extremely important to me. Uh, tonight we just grabbed a few minutes because the big kids had youth group at church and even though it was rushed, it was still a time for us to come together all in the same place, all in the same room to give thanks and to eat together. After a big day, I think it's really important to treat yourself. That treat is going to be different for everyone. For some, it's going to be their favorite Netflix show. For some, it's going to be a hot bath, which I love. I love a hot bath at the end of the day. For me today, I had set aside some time to just really take care of my skin. It's winter and... Um, those of you that know me, you know I'm pretty fanatical about caring for my skin, so I brought all my products down because the kids were using the upstairs bathroom and just took actually some, some extra time, a little bit extra time. A lot of times I'll just burn through this in, you know, two minutes, but I got out all my favorite skincare oils, Yarrow Palm and Blue Tansy, and my favorite products, and I did my hands, and... Um, I have some oils that I use for stress and anxiety and I just, I probably took another good six minutes for myself and um, that just feels pretty decadent and pretty well deserved at the end of the day. The one thing that I didn't get to today was my job. So I usually try to allot little pockets of time throughout the day to attend to my doTERRA business. And I didn't do that today. And that's okay. Today was all about housework and schooling. But I really am blessed to just be able to sit down at my computer at the end of the day and wrap up a few details. And I love my job. And I feel so blessed that this is... The reason that we have what we have this is the reason we can do what we do and be together all day I hope that you enjoyed this video if you'd like to see the very first one of these a day in the life video that I did last year you can check that out right here and for more homemaking inspiration check out this video right here and be sure to subscribe if you haven't a bientôt